Hey YouTube, Merry Christmas. Hey, um, so I recently put out a video called uh, Watch Now, and it was basically saying that I had the error code E203. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. But first, I'm going to show you my game collection after I fixed it. The Xbox works fine now. There still is some internet issues. If you guys see here, you know, of course, I'm still stocked up in all my games. I'm always playing with my friends. And I just love it. Well, I got Assassin's Creed Unity and GTA 5 for Christmas. Um, very thankful. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Halo, so I got I, I beat the uh, every four games. So that's the nice part about it. Well, yeah. I'm going to move that because that is a... So sorry for the disturbance, guys. But it just happens sometimes. So yeah, we got a... It's all uh, still up there. It's still playable. I was going to play some uh, uh, GTA 5 real quick when I noticed that my videos got to 100 views. And I just want to thank you guys very much for that. That is a huge milestone, but I still only have one subscriber. So now you log on to your nearest computer. I'm on my iPad, of course, because my computer is broken. Otherwise, I'd have better quality videos. But once you get to Xbox.com, you're going to want to go to here. You want to go to Support. You want to go to Xbox One. And you want to look for error which is at the bottom so you're gonna be here you're gonna go down to the bottom oh yeah and keep in mind you're gonna need a flash drive that has at least two gigabytes or more so if you go here you can go e two zero zero three and this will pop up now it this E203 occurs when you're when you try to update a console software. So this means that your Xbox One cannot update your console. So if you go down here, there's a solution right here. You go to you click on here. You go to you keep going down and I'll I'll, I'll step you through this. You want to set restore to factory defaults. So once you get that all downloaded onto your gigabyte, that is capable of. Sorry, it's a little dark. I'm in my room right now because my iPad's charging. Um, so then you have to, of course, you have to restore to factory defaults. And once you do that, it's basically like opening a brand new Xbox. But you have to re-download all the games and re-sign into your account. That's all you have to do. So let me take you to the Xbox and show you how to do this. Okay, so once you're at your Xbox One, there's going to be a little USB port. Make sure you have it on your little um, flash drive, which is 4 gigabytes. So you plug it in. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to reset mine. It took forever to do. Now, keep in mind, you have to re-download all the games, and this can take up a chunk of time, and it took me 24 hours to do, because I'm not too good at it. You want to hold this button and that button at the exact same time. You will t hear two button noises. When you turn on your Xbox, it will sound do-do-do, and then wait another couple seconds, then do-do-do. You do not let go until you hear the second one go, so keep holding them. Once you've done that, your Xbox should restart itself, which is a good thing. Once it turns back on, it will look like you just unboxed your Xbox One, but you've only had it for a couple of days now. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you need any additional help, um, just uh, comment. Please subscribe if this helped you. If it didn't, just dislike it, and I will improve this video. Have a nice day, guys. Merry Christmas, and happy holidays.